What's going on everybody? Gabe Kyle Chuck here. Hey, thank you guys for checking out this video. Uh, if you like this kind of content, if you like my videos, make sure you hit that like button, share these videos, uh, drop a comment in them, and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already subscribed. If you know people out there that love uh, college football content, Gamecock content, hey, send them my way and uh, have them subscribe to this channel. Let's go ahead and hop in this video. I know I may be a couple days late on this video. Um, that came out some of the news that came out the other day concerning uh one mark kingston uh the head bed baseball coach the head baseball coach of our south carolina gamecocks um a guy that i'm not too fond of as far as being the leader of our program um got an extension got a two-year extension his uh contract runs now until uh 2027 i believe it is and his uh, pay got bumped up from 600000 a year to 725000 uh, The good news about that is it, it ain't a big, you know, it ain't a big deal as far as the structure of the contract. At least they didn't give him a five-year extension or, you know, some crazy, some outlandish amount of money, you know, just because we had a successful season this year. Uh, he finished the season 42 and 21, I believe it was, made it to the Super Regional. Uh, the best record since he's been at South Carolina. You know since he's been there so i mean i kind of seen it coming you know the way we you know got off to a hot start uh reached the third ranking in the uh in the polls so i kind of seen it coming um i guess if we wouldn't have had that big slip up during the season uh where we you know had some key injuries and we went on that big skid uh after you know being ranked third i think we, we he probably would have got a much bigger deal in my opinion um but like i said it, it's not a big deal it's not something that if he falters this year next year whatever the case may be before his contract is up that we're not we're not financially able to buy him out um we had some big wins uh the recruiting's going real good right now we got some big time prospects uh signed for the class of 24 and everything got some good good prospects coming in so uh got some good talent coming back as well so the team is loaded, the team's stacked. He's uh, set up to have a uh, successful year if we can stay healthy and uh, and not have the, you know, get bit by the injury bug this year or this upcoming season. Uh, I think we're poised to have a, a good year, a solid year. And uh, hopefully, hopefully if we do that, don't, you know, give Ray Tanner the, the gumption to, you know, give that man a, a even bigger, bigger contract extension and raise um like i said i'm not very high on mark kingston he's, he's about a subpar coach in my opinion about a about a 500 a little above 500 for his uh career you know with south florida south carolina i think he kept somewhere else i can't remember exactly where it was but either way he's got a just above a 500 record overall coaching so i don't know like i said i'm not a big fan of him and I just, I don't like to see people fail in life, but at the same time, you know, our baseball program was once one of the best in all of baseball, college baseball. We won two national championships uh, under Ray Tanner back in the day, 2010, 2011. We've been in the College World Series multiple times, had our opportunities to win them, but for some reason, you know, it just didn't go our way. We weren't able to, you know, come away with victories in some of them, but we, you know, our baseball program, it, used to, it, it was at an elite level at one time during Ray Tanner's uh, tenure there in South Carolina. Now that he's AD, it seems like it's, uh, seems like it's on the decline. And I hate to see that, but at the same time, I want to see the right coach in there, pushing all the right buttons like Ray did back in the day, bringing in good talent and, uh, and like I said, getting us back to the College World Series because let's face it, going you know going to a regional, uh, going to a super regional, that just ain't uh, the level that South Carolina was accustomed to, you know, during Ray Tanner's tenure. You know, getting to Omaha is the main goal in college baseball. So hopefully, hopefully, uh, Mark Kingston can get us get us to Omaha. I mean. We shall see. Uh, he, like I said, he's got he's got some pieces coming back. He's also got some good talent coming in. So 
hopefully uh, he can get get the baseball program back on the right track. Um, like I said, I'm a little disappointed, but not surprised of the news that he got a, you know a contract extension and a raise. But like I said, luckily enough, it's not something some insurmountable you know amount that we can't you know buy out his contract if if things go south you know during his during his rest of his or during the rest of his contract so but like i said this video is a couple days late i uh been busy a little bit so just wanted to get it out there uh get my two cents on it um yeah that's about it so if you like this stuff like i said hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed jump in the comments let me know what you guys think of this uh this extension and this pay raise uh let me know what you guys think of how y'all feel about it and uh yeah until next time thank you guys for checking this video out and uh go gamecocks i'm out gamecock chuck peace